Hello everyone, I'm Akif and we're doing a quick video on transition from IPv4 to IPv6. So most of us are familiar with IPv4 address. It's a 32-bit address and if you look at the uh, number of addresses it provides is almost equal to 4 billion, which is 2 raised power 32. But in the coming future, when there will be billions of devices on internet, this won't work as we will fall short of addresses there won't be enough addresses to give and assign uh, address to each and every device so in that case they have come up with IPv6 IPv6 uh, has 128 bit address and this provides us uh, the number of addresses that we have now in IPv6 is almost equal to 340 trillion 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 devices so to make the transition happen from IPv4 to IPv6 overnight it's not possible it's a slow gradual process which may take uh, a decade so this transition is enabled by uh, three popular techniques one is dual stack another is tunneling and then we have header translation also so we will be discussing them uh, in the dual stack we have this TCP IP protocol stack where in the network layer we contain both these protocols which is IPv4 and IPv6 so if you have to communicate with an IPv6 node we will use IPv6 part of the uh, stack then if we are trying to communicate with IPv4 node then we are using the IPv4 part so how it is done it's made possible when the source host queries the DNS if the DNS server responds back with IPv4 address, then the source sends IPv4 packet to the uh, receiving machine. And if the DNS returns back with IPv6 address, then the source responds with IPv6 packet, which is then forward towards the destination machine. The another technique that we have is the tunneling technique. So here on the screen we are shown an example where IPv6 is the uh, where the IPv6 is the protocol that's used in the host machine and the destination machine that we have is the it also works on IPv6 so sending machine is IPv6 and the destination machine is IPv6 but in between we have IPv4 transit network so in that case what happens is that this IPv6 packet from the sending machine is put inside an IPv4 packet and then forwarded to the destination machine. So same is the case with uh, IPv4. If the sending machine is IPv4 and the destination machine is IPv4 uh, but in between we have IP IPv6 uh, transit network so what happens in that case is that IPv4 packet is put inside IPv6 packet and then forwarded towards the destination machine. Then the final technique is this header translation. So why is header translation necessary? You can think of it as a scenario where we have most of the devices uh, working on IPv6 network but only there are a handful of devices that are working in IPv4 uh, uh, based protocol so what happens is that sending machine is based on IPv6 uh, transit network is based on IPv6 but the destination machine is based on IPv4 now if you try to do tunneling it won't work here uh, because the destination machine only understands IPv4 so what is done is that the header format is changed you can look at the diagram here we have this IPv6 host, uh, there is IPv6 reg region over here, and the packet that we send is IPv6 packet. The header is IPv6, and here we have this router, and then comes the IPv4 region, where we have this IPv4 host. So header translation is done. So the header is converted from IPv6 to IPv4, and it's done by the mapped address. So only that way we can send the packet to the destination machine so that was all and that was how the uh, transition happens from IPv4 to IPv6 so these are the references you can look at it and I will also provide the link below in the description 
So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.